as soon as you pass out from your plus two and you get started with your bachelor's, that is where your real career begins. Now, the question to be asked is from that day till the day you are in this world, what are the three things you should obsess about so that you keep growing and keep succeeding in your life and career? And that is what I'm going to tell you today. Now, I'm telling you with all the 17 years of last 17 years of experience, which I have in the biosciences industry, and I have concluded that these three things are the most important. No matter you're a bachelor student, master student, or a PhD postdoc, or no matter what level or profession you are in, these three things are very, very important. Now, the first one is nothing but obsessed with learning. Okay, you have to be obsessed about learning, you have to be obsessed with learning, you have to be obsessed with learning new things, learning a combination of things so that you can develop a T-shaped personality. A T-shaped personality is that you have in-depth, okay, the bottom part of T, that you have in-depth knowledge of one particular domain, but you have the, the top part of T, you have the broad knowledge of almost every dom domain so that you can apply the knowledge of other domains into your in-depth domain and grow in your career. Now, just imagine a car. What happens in a car? So, suppose Tata manufactured the steel, right? It was bought by Volkswagen. Then Volkswagen also, uh, you know, uh, bought the engine or developed the engine. Then they bought the tires from Goodyear. Now, what they did with the, all the knowledge which they have, they applied it and created a car. So, that's how now you have a car. Right. The same way, you, if you have a T-shaped personality, you have in-depth knowledge of one thing and then you have a broad knowledge of multiple things, you apply that broad knowledge into your in-depth knowledge domain and then you grow. So first lesson, learn and obsess about learning. Okay, Be obsessed about learning throughout your life, no matter at what level, what stage you are and that is how you will grow. Now the second and very important thing is get out of comfort zone. Obsess about getting out of comfort zone. I'll give you my example. So I was a shy introvert and a very, very um, secluded person. I used to love my loneliness, okay? But biotechnica happened. Now suddenly I was supposed to talk to people. Now suddenly I, I was supposed to work as a team, which I was not, I was not a team player. Now suddenly I was supposed to, you know, uh, lead a set of people and re arrive at a certain destination. Trust me, I never realized that I can do that. I, at the beginning of Biotechnica, I felt that probably I'll never be able to do it. Fast forward 17 years, I'm doing it. I'm doing it well. So that's the point here. Your personality is an onion. With every, every time you'll enter the uncomfortable zone, a new layer will appear in your personality, which will be a super imposition of the previous personality. So for example, I was introvert today, I am an extrovert. I still love my loneliness, but I still love interacting with people. So what will happen is a new version of you will improve. Just like your phone, right? Your phone every six months or one year, they launch a new version, right? You are also launched in this world with a new version each time you enter into the uncomfortable zone. So get out of comfort zone. That's the second mantra to grow in your career. Now let's jump into the third mantra. The third mantra is networking. Now, why networking? You see, humans are social animal. What is different between me and a monkey is I can talk to someone. I can, you know, convey my feelings to someone and I can get works, work done by someone for me, which a monkey probably cannot, right? Now, monkeys are also herd animal, but the way they will interpret a danger is they'll just shout or make a noise saying that there is a danger. Instead, how would I convey the danger to someone? I would say that, hey, right now there is a danger, so let's chill at home. And once the danger is over, let's go out and chill in PVR, right? So what happened here? I can convey while animals can't. So humans are social animals, right? So if we network with the right people who are sitting at the right position, suppose I have a connection with the head of DBT, I have a connection with the head of a ministry or, uh, or a institution, so I can get things done from them or I can invite them in whatever I'm doing. That's the power of networking. And you have to start practicing networking at an early stage. How do you do that? By reaching out to people, by learning about them, being genuinely interested in them and then reaching out to them each time they have achieved something because gen normally people won't do that. And that you can do it on LinkedIn, you can do it on WhatsApp, you can do it on any of the communication channels. Reach out to people, praise them, learn about them, learn about their liking and dislikeness and understand what they don't uh, agree to, what are their uh, you know goals and help them. Right. When you will do that, probably to your juniors, to your seniors, to your contemporaries, 
to somebody who is already well placed in the this world probably you can volunteer for them reach out to them right the more you network the more you convey that you are available to help that is where networking will happen that is where you will grow so let's say that you are right now at the age of 20 22 and you continue doing networking for the next 10 years you know in the next 10 years where your friends would be they all will be well placed in various parts of this industry now suppose 10 years later you require any help you have to just make one phone call right that's the power of networking so never ever underestimate the power of your friends your professors your contemporaries peers juniors or seniors all of them carry some kind of value in this world and you can combine all that value to achieve success so these are the three things you have to obsess throughout your career with your bachelor's master's phd postdoc scientist you know senior scientist chief scientific officer ceo whatever you are if you obsess about learning if you obsess about getting out of comfort zone and doing new things and the third is networking nobody absolutely nobody can defeat you so that's the power of learning you learned something new today let me know in the comment section what did you learn and what are all the things you're going to change in your life and i will come up with some new ideas and new videos to help you guide you mentor you till then take care bye